Okay, YouTube. Um, I've been wanting to do a video about this H&R 357 Magnum single shot. Um, I had been wanting one of these for a while, and as I got on the internet looking around for videos, there were not very many um, at all. But this is the gun that I did the uh, the barrel swap program with H&R. I sent this uh, receiver and the stocks uh, off to um, Remington in uh, Ilion, New York and had this barrel fitted uh, to the receiver and uh, really glad I did so. This has quickly turned into one of my favorite guns. Um, I shoot 38 Specials. These are some really light 38 Specials that I hand loaded. I cast these bullets too. These are uh, lead bullets. Those are Lee um, 158 grain tumble lube round nose over a uh, light charge of trail boss. Believe it or not, these loads in this gun is quieter than our 22s that we've got. And I'm talking about 22 rifles. They're much lighter, um, quieter than uh, than a 22 pistol for sure. I was blown away by that. But they are so fun to shoot. Um, I've got two. I've got a 44 Magnum H&R single shot as well. Uh, not just a barrel. I bought it as a complete gun, and uh, I love that gun too. And uh, both of my guns have this have the Bushnell TRS 25. I've been real happy with that. I did some research online. I found uh, found out that a lot of people rate that to be an excellent red dot. Um, for the value, you can pick that red dot up. I bought both of mine on Amazon um, for like $89, uh, and they both work great. They they make this gun so fun to shoot too because um, the newer barrels come with this rail and not open sights. It seems like they do have a barrel that comes with open sights. It's kind of hard to get. They sell out of it a lot. Uh, I think that's called the tallow barrel. It's got more of a taper on the end as well. Um, this is more of like the standard one. I think that other barrel costs a little more too, but it comes with open sights. Or if you can find an older one, they came with open sights a long time ago. So I wanted to go with the red dot because I thought that that would be a little funner on these kind of rifles than for what I wanted to do than, a, than to put a scope on it. You know, faster acquisition, more of a plinker like an open sided gun would be. So this is just a red dot, no magnification, but it is a lot of fun. Uh, I may do some more reviews about this. I'm actually on the list uh, on one of the online forums to to get the reamer, to ream this barrel out to 357 maximum. If you haven't heard of that, look it up. It's a pretty interesting cartridge. It's, a, it's just a longer 357 mag. And a lot of people do that to these guns, and they get better accuracy out of them. Um, they even claim to get better accuracy out of 38 Specials and 357 Magnums after doing that. This thing has a really long uh, chamber from the factory. Some people gripe about that. Uh, I'm getting this thing's plenty accurate for me. But they claim that when you ream it to 357 Max, uh, which is really simple, they say you can do it with hand tools. But it puts a different degree on the, uh, I guess it's called the lead. I'm not sure. But a different degree where the, where the bullet goes in. And um, they claim because of that, even though you're lengthening in that chamber even a little bit more, that, um, that they get better actually out of 38 and 357 Magnums too. And uh, it'd be pretty neat to be able to reload for 357 Maximum and just have it even that much more versatile. That's a pretty hot little round. Uh, the really high-end hot loads for 357 maximum are, are over 2,000 feet per second, maybe in the 2,200 range. Uh -huh. So that, that is pretty pretty hot coming out here. These little loads right here are like 606 feet per second, and I do have a chronograph. So um, I do test my loads with my chrono and... and uh, which they're usually pretty close to what the book's going to say anyway, but it's neat to be able to find out for yourself. But uh, 
I'll show you a little bit of video of me of me shooting this gun, and I may do some more some more uh, videos on this gun as well. I know there's a lot of interest out there in these things. All right, uh, now here's some video of me shooting it. This thing is really fun. Can't say enough about it. I shoot hotter stuff in here too. I shoot a magnum. I've got some jacketed bullets and some magnum powder. Uh, shoot some pretty heavy stuff out of here too. And it's pretty neat to chronograph this. Uh, I've got a 357 magnum pistol. And it's really neat on the chrono to test the same loads out of a pistol coming out of a rifle. They always come out of this rifle three to 400 feet per second faster. Same, the same cartridge, uh, same loading, just because of the extra barrel. But anyhow, love this gun. Stay tuned for uh, some more videos. Thanks a lot.